Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Stay. This is Coloring Bliss. And today we're going to be celebrating Christmas with a really simple art project that any of you can do. You can follow along with me and create these really adorable little Christmas ornaments. Here's some that I did just the other day. And all you need to do to follow along with me is have some water soluble pencils handy. So if you have watercolor pencils, or like me today, I'm going to be using my ink tense pencils, then grab those and some paper and we can create this beautiful art project together and celebrate Christmas. I'm really excited. But before we get started, I have some downloads for you that you can come to our website, coloringbliss.com and get. There's links in the video description. Now these downloads you can get two different ways. One is as a free member, we have free downloads available. And then two, as a paid member where you get access to our premium library, which has over 900 different coloring pages and resources all waiting and available for you. It's just $5 a month to get access to that premium library and you can cancel anytime you want. Such a cool resource. And let me show you right now what we have available as a premium download. This is brand new going into the library and I think it is so cute. It has this really charming mug and just makes me want to have some hot chocolate with peppermint candy canes in it. Now this is another premium coloring page with some snow globes. Look at all the charming little details that are on this coloring page. Just waiting for you to color. And this one just to me, it, this looks like Christmas Eve has just exploded all over in this house. And it's just so full of really charming details like this little cat right here that you can color. So come on over to Coloring Bliss and support us as becoming a paid member and you get access to this coloring page and many, many more. Now for our free members, we have two coloring pages ready for you. This one right here is for our Aussie friends that celebrate Christmas, but it's summertime for them. So we created this coloring page for their specific celebration. And then we have this, a very traditional holiday wreath that you can color up and maybe display out on your fridge or on your front door if in case you don't have a holiday wreath. It's perfect for that. So we have a little something for everyone at Coloring Bliss, whether you're a free member or a paid member. We love all of you and want to say happy holidays, and I hope you enjoy these downloads. Now also going on right now, we have our big giveaway. Now this is the main prize right here, the full set of Derwent Ink Tense pencils. All 100 pencils are in this tin and it's going out to one of you. Now you only have a couple days left to get your entries in, so follow the link in the video description and make sure you get all the entries possible in so you have a chance to win this. Now included in the prize we are putting in this book. It's the Tritone workbook that is dedicated to Derwent ink tents. It has all kinds of resources to help you organize your pencils and to get them into color schemes so that you can pick colors quickly and confidently once you get this beautiful set of ink tents pencils. So like I said, this giveaway is almost over. The last day to get your entries in is Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2023, and the winner will be announced via email December 25th that's Christmas Day 2023. I'm so excited that one of you gets this prize and if you are watching this video after the giveaway is over don't worry what you need to do is come on over to Coloring Bliss and at least become a free member so that you get notified when our next big giveaway is coming and we have some beautiful giveaways planned for 2024 so make sure you don't miss out. So today we're here to create some holiday art and I'm excited to do this with you because it is really simple and all you'd need, like I said, is some water soluble pencils. I also have some watercolor paper. I'm just using some really inexpensive Canson watercolor paper today just so I can play around and not worry about the cost of the paper. And these are my ink tense pencils right here in this set and I also have some water and I have some brushes and I'm going to put a link to this set of watercolor brushes right here by Creative Mark because they are a really good budget friendly long 
lasting, durable set of watercolor brushes. If you take good care of them, you're going to have them for years, like I've had my set for years. I have all kinds of brushes here, but I almost always end up reaching back for the Creative Mark brushes because I feel comfortable with them and they work so well. So that's all you need to do this art project with me. Let's start by looking at the first one that I practiced on so that you can see what I am kind of working towards. Now these ones, the only thing I don't like about how they turned out is I feel like the color is not as vibrant as they could be. We are, after all, working with ink tense pencils which are known for their extreme vibrancy. So I want to work on this next one and try to get a little more vibrant colors. I used three different color pencils all in the same color family around each of these. And then we activate the pencil and it turns into these adorable ornaments. Now for the decorations, it's just some doodling. And I also used some stencils from my stencil stash. I've got all kinds of stencils in here and I reached for these ones in the very back because they have fancy little borders and things that I can copy and use. So if you want to do some doodling, go for it, or you can grab some stencils and that makes it so that you feel more confident in the lines you're creating. And I think it's very charming. I just used a black gel pen to do all these details, so nothing very fancy. I think though, with this one that we're going to be doing together, my plan is to add a little bling, and I have some different products that we can try, and I think we can make this page just sparkle and shine and be really exciting. But the first step is to get your paper ready. All right, like I said, this is the Canson Watercolor XL line, a very budget-friendly paper that you can get really easily. And this one in particular is a 9 by 12 paper. So I'm going to pull that out. Now you could just use some standard cardstock if you want. You don't need to use watercolor paper. But usually you get a bit of a better... Um, reaction with water and the paper when you use a watercolor paper. This is also watercolor paper, but it's a much thinner paper. So we'll see how the ink tense pencils react on this particular paper. Now, what we need first are some circles, and I don't want you to get nervous because we're going to just use something like um, a jar. I'm gonna use this lid off of this jar for my circles. Um, so just look around your house, your art studio, and see if you've got a circle that is about the right size for what you would like to create on your page. And I'm going to go for five again, five different ornaments like I did here. But instead of just having them be one color each, I think I'm going to play around with adding different colors into the ornament. So let's start with the first ornament down at the bottom left corner of our paper. And we're going to choose some fun colors here. I think I'd like this first one to be red. So I'm going to grab the these two reds right here. This is Matter Brown, which is a really dark, dark brownish red. And I've got Hot Red, and I think these two will work really good on this ornament, but I wanna add a different color into it. So for that, I'm thinking about color theory. You can add green, that's the complementary color, or we could try adding green, that's the complementary color, or let's look at what the triadic colors would be with red. If you put this down like this and have this top arrow pointing at red, this is a download you get as a premium member on, on our website, by the way, if you need a little color wheel with all the different color schemes on it. It's a great little download. So this one would tell me to add a little blue and a little yellow into it, or we could add a little blue green and a little yellow green. I like the idea of adding some blue and some yellow, so let's go for that on this one. We'll start with the red and I'm just gonna hold that lid in place and I'm gonna color down a lot of our ink tense pencil here. Just kind of getting a nice amount. 
And then we said for our triadic color scheme, a little blue and a little yellow. So I'll grab a blue pencil. Let's try lapis. Oh, yeah. Let's try bright blue instead. I really like the bright blue. I'm going to put it right here. Okay, and then we need a yellow pencil. For that, I'm going to grab a golden sun. It's more of a yellow orange but I think it'll look really pretty. Yellow, orange, and I'm gonna put some more blue over here too. Okay, blow that dust away so we don't get any contamination going on. And I'm gonna take my red now and just add a little bit more, because like I said, the last time I did this, I felt like, um, I wished that it was a little more vibrant. So I'm going to make sure that red really pops. And let's see, this is that matter brown, I believe it's called. Okay, and then make sure this yellow pops really good. And then our blue. Okay, that should give us more pigment to um, activate as we work here. Now we're going to grab our water. I've got two vessels of water, two glasses. One that will be for cleaning the brush and one that will be for getting um, clean water for activating. And I also have a paper towel handy to help control the water. We don't wanna to use too much water not, you know, drippy, drippy amounts of water. So having a little paper towel handy will work great. Now I'm going to start by getting the center of my ornament a little bit wet so that the, the colors can flow as we start to activate. Okay, here comes the red. So this is like a wet on wet because we have wet in the middle. I'm going to activate the red some more and just let it flow in there. Rinse off my brush. Get that blue going. Rinse off my brush and let's activate that yellow. And the colors will mix and do some fun things. That is much better. And it's okay if some of the water leaks on to the outside of your circle. Don't worry about it. Just let it sit and do its thing. Very pretty. Now we could do some tricks here, some watercolor tricks. We could sprinkle some salt into that water that we just, the wet paint, and that would create some like snowflake effects. We can just let it sit and dry over time. We could put some um, cling wrap, like some plastic wrap onto it and make it go into a really cool crackly type effect. There's so many neat effects we can do with this, but I'm gonna keep it relatively simple so we can add details on top with a fine liner pen. So I really, I love how this is looking. I think it's just so beautiful. So one area right here, I wish I had activated this just a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with a little water and wake that up all the way to that edge. Kind of push it out into the middle. And it's okay that there's some white in the center. That'll make it look like a highlight. So cool. Okay, I'm going to grab my heat gun, my blow dryer here, and dry it up. And then we can um, work on the next one. Okay, we've got that mostly dry. We're going to let it sit and finish drying now while we work on our next ornament. This one I think I want to use just two colors. I'm going to space this out and have the second ornament slightly higher and to the right, but about the same distance from this side of the page as this one is here. That'll give it some nice 
balance as we build these ornaments going up the page. Okay, so for this one, I need to put my pencils back here so I can find them quickly. For this one, I'm thinking blue and a little red so we get the purples. I think that would be really pretty. Or we could do red with a little just yellow. Um, oh, there's just so many options. But this one I want to do just two colors. Oh, maybe green. Let's do green. So many options. I'm going to grab a dark green and a mid-tone green. And maybe we add yellow to it. And this time we'll use this sun yellow. So the three colors I grabbed, felt green, number 1530 beach green 1510 and sun yellow 0200. We're going to go mostly green and then add some yellow in. Look at this green in here. And then some yellow. More of that dark green. Okay, and I'm going to come in and color a little extra. The dark green first. Nothing too fancy here because we're just going to activate it with water in just a minute. And it's all going to flow together, so I don't have to be very detail oriented with this. I might add a little yellow over here just for fun. Okay, now we got my brush again and again this is the Creative Mark Mimic line and I'm using the 8 round. I've got my two water vessels, my rinse water, make sure it's clean. And let's activate this. Oh I forgot to put water in the middle. Let's get a whole bunch of water in the middle. <sighs> there we go. Now we'll activate it. And let it flow. I keep mixing up the rinse water and the clean water. Luckily it's pretty clean right now so it doesn't really matter. And then this little yellow spot. I'm going to leave that little white section there right here. And activate this yellow and let it really flow up here. Pretty. I like that. This time I'm going to let this um, dry naturally. When you dry it with a blow dryer, it's a lot faster, but sometimes you get these harsh lines, which I don't mind. Um, but this time I, I think I want it to try to stay as flowy and um, no lines as possible. So we're just going to leave it like that. I'm going to turn the whole thing around so I don't accidentally touch that. And we'll go on to our third one. Um, what color should we do next? I think I'll put this one in a little bit, a little bit farther away from the side and up a little bit so there's still room to draw the little um, top of the ornament. Okay, and let me put these away. Okay, so we've got a green one. Maybe right next to it we'll do a purple one. Okay, we'll do these two colors of purple, and with purple, let me turn this to violet so we can see what colors they recommend. If we want to do two colors, we would add yellow-green or yellow-orange or orange and green. I think I just want to add one color, and I'm thinking yellow-orange would be really pretty. 
Okay, so let me grab a yellow orange here. Um, we'll go for this one again. This is the Golden Sun 0225, and I've grabbed Dark Purple 0750 and Deep Violet 0760. And repeat. Okay, for this one, the two colors I'm picking, which I'm really enjoying these two color type combinations. I think it looks really pretty where the three colors, when they come together, sort of become a neutral in the middle, but that's okay. We can work with that and I still really like that one there. But the three colors I picked for this one is lemon and I'm kind of going for a yellow theme, I guess. There's a little bit of yellow in each of the ornaments. And then I went for reds, hot red 410 and matter brown again for 1920. Let's activate it and see what it does. Remember, first step is to get the center of the bulb wet so that the colors can flow. A little bit of purple contamination there from earlier, but that doesn't hurt anything. And away we go. For this ornament, I kind of went a little crazy and we'll see how it comes together, but I picked um, a blue green, which is Mallard Green 1230. And I also picked bright blue, which was 1000. That's that blue from down here. And then I also grabbed a lemon color, Lemon 0110, to carry on that, how yellow is in every color to give some cohesive feeling. And again, we're going to start by filling in the center with some free water here so we can flow and I think I'll start with the blue side and this really pretty blue green And now we'll activate the yellow. Pull that yellow out into the blue-green and the blue. Oh, this looks like it could be activated a little bit more right here. Pretty. All right, now we just need to let these dry and then we can start by adding some details and some bling into here. I'm so excited. All right, to add some bling, I grabbed my Fine Tech Premium Pearlescent Colors. Um, I decided that these would be probably the most potent on the um, white paper with all these colors. And I don't know which one I'm going to use, so I'm just going to get them all wet and ready using some clean water, just dripping a whole bunch of water on each one so they can be nice and soft and ready to go. And I think I want to add a little gold to each of them since we've got a yellow theme going here. And I think we'll do... Um, ooh, either this gold, let's look and see on my swatch chart here. This is the fine tech right here, the pearlescent colors. So we've got fine gold or pharaoh's gold or rich gold. I think I'm going to go for the, f maybe we'll do a combination of them and just do a few different and see how they look. 
I'm using the same brush that we used for activating the colors and I'm going for a landscape orientation instead of this other orientation because I think it feels a little bit better to me. It doesn't matter, you can do whatever you like with how your circles turned out. And I'm just going to add some gold stripes on this one. I'm going to skip over that white spot to keep it white. Good. Get some clean water here. And on this one, how about we do the other direction and we'll try a different color. This is more of a red gold here, coppery color. gives me baseball vibes, but that's okay. Now this one over here, which we we're struggling with, I'm going to, ooh, maybe silver? No, let's stick with the yellows. The golds, the warmer colors. And let's do dots. A little bit more of a busy pattern. Since it's my least favorite, we'll give it a little more oomph. Oh, I really like that blue right there with the... I really like this side of it. It's so pretty. Okay, little dots now in between. Cute. Okay, now up here, how about this gold? And let's do maybe a zigzag. It's one of the things I really like about these Mimic brushes is you can get a fine line like this. One more to go to add our bling, and then we'll get a, I think we'll get out our, um, let's do this gold again. Get out our fine liner and add some more details. So we have stripes, we have horizontal lines, we have dots, we have, how about I like a checkered pattern, and we'll do it kind of, um, bent checkered pattern. Rose is fixing her pillow back here. Look at my beautiful rinse water now. So pretty. Okay, let's add with the gold. I think we should add the little um, crown on the ornament, the crown that you attach to the tree. And we'll do all the same around. So let's do this one here. And the way I do it is a swoop up, swoop up. straight across and then some lines and of course our little hoop on the top okay so I'm going to repeat that again swoop up swoop up come across some straight lines and a little hoop on the top Okay, I'll do that three more times.
Okay, now we've got this all dry and we're going to add some details. For the details this time, I'm going to use a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner in Black 199. It's just a nice fine liner tip to control, um, but you could use a gel pen, you could use um, an alcohol marker, whatever you want for the little details. But the first thing I want to do is create a line where it's hanging on the tree, like that. I'm trying to judge the edge of the paper so that it stays relatively straight. But I'm not going to be too obsessed about this. And a little line right there. Okay, and then I want to add some details, especially to this crown. You know, this pen seems a little thin for this. I think I'm going to upgrade to the brush. The same pen, this is a Pit Artist Pen, black number 199, but instead it has a brush nib on it so we can get some different width lines. Let's see if that will, oh yeah, that's much better. that a lot. Do the same thing to this little crown. I don't know what they're called. I keep calling it a crown. I've always thought, thought it looks like a crown. Really light touch with this pen because that brush nib is very flexible so it's easy to get a really deep thick black line if you're not careful okay and then I think I want to add a few little details really light lines to sort of um, mimic the gold lines that I've already added The reason I like to use the Pit Artist Pen is it won't activate with water, so it's permanent once it dries. Zigzags, I'm tempted. No, I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, which is just adding a little detail to the details. Right now, I want to add a white highlight onto each of the bulbs and I tried the white Posca paint pen but it's just it just goes translucent you can see right here let me go to this angle that was the best white line I could get with the Posca pen and I think it's because the ink tents is so strong it's just not letting that white do what it needs to do so I grabbed from my stash some white acrylic paint this is titanium white M gram pretty expensive um, artist grade white that I have just one tube of white that I pull for this reason and I got a smaller brush here this is my Princeton Heritage I could have used my watercolor brush but I try not to use um, this one even is a pretty nice one and I want to be really careful to clean this brush when we're done so I squirted some of that out onto a piece of paper here and we're going to add our highlight. It might take a couple coats to get it to be as opaque as I want. So there's one highlight and we're just going to do the same highlight shape 
on each bulb. And then let it dry and come back and do a second coat because I want this to be really vibrant. These highlights. Okay, it's that brush really good. I don't want any of that acrylic paint to stay in that brush. And I'll dry it. Okay, we'll go again. Nice, thick white highlight. Okay. Highlight feel. Cleaning out my brush again, really good. Gotta take good care of your brushes, they're an investment and we want them to last a long time. Okay, now I'd like to add, we could add some more white flecks if we wanted to, but I think that's good enough for what I want for this. But I do want to add some flecks of color. So let's do green as if it's sitting on a green um, tree. So I'm going to grab one of my greens. See I grabbed beach green number 1510. And the way we're going to do this is with our watercolor brush, the 8 round by Creative Mark Mimic. And anything you don't want to get flex on, how we want to move. Okay, and the way I'm going to do this is just flip my brush over the tip. Of the pencil. I'll show you from this angle too. So it's a pretty wet pencil, a pretty wet brush, and just flick some fun speckles. I think we'll do some gold flecks too. that a lot. Okay, rinse out my brush and clean off the tip of that ink tense pencil. And anything that got a little ink tense on it and you don't want that to stay, just wipe that up really easy. Let's add some of our gold flex to. For that, we're going to get a pretty wet brush, dip into the paint and get it pretty wet here. There we go. And then we'll just tap and knock that off. onto our paper. A little bit more here. And do the other half. Good, clean your brush. Wipe up the flex. We don't have a mess and dry those. One final touch, I'm going to add my name and the date. And I think I'd like to see what it looks like on the back wall. But before we do that, let's move it in the light so you can see all of the gold details that we added 
wow, that fine tech. This paint here is quite expensive, but it has a really good payoff with shine. It does really good. We've done videos on this channel um, talking about the different gold and silver paints, and I have one planned coming up soon. So if you'd like to learn more about using these paints and which ones are the best, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss it out, miss out on it. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put it up on the back wall. Okay, there it is. What do you think, Rose? What do you think of my painting? I think it turned out really good, and what I really like about it is how much more vibrant we got the colors than the first time I tried. These almost look like glass bulbs just tinted with color, where those ones back there look like metallic, really shiny, vibrant, saturated colors. It's really exciting to me that I was able to get the look that I was looking for and add the bling and all those fun things. So hopefully this inspired you to do a little bit of art with your water-soluble pencils. They are so much fun to work with and you can really create amazing things with them. So I hope from our family to your family, you have a wonderful, happy holiday filled with friends and family and especially filled with art and color and things that give you joy. I'm so grateful for all of you and I'm looking forward to one more video this year before we roll over into 2024. So again, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Good luck everyone with the giveaway. Remember, we're going to be announcing the winner on December 25th, Christmas Day. So you only have a couple more days left to get your entries in for that beautiful big set of Inktense pencils and the workbook to accompany it. Thank you again, and I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye, everyone.